When you hear the words, the most expensive violin in the world, what name comes to mind? Stradivarius. Stradivarius. That's a great answer. It's also wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now while you're brainstorming about who could possibly have made the most expensive violin in the world, I'm going to tell you a story about an entertainer at the top of his profession. He was a star. But like many stars, he had a slight weakness. He had a weakness for the ladies. He had a weakness for some substances. <laughs> In particular, he had a weakness for gambling. Now, I'm not talking about Charlie Sheen. I'm talking about Niccolo Paganini. Niccolo Paganini was playing a violin made by Amati. Now, if you're not familiar with violin makers, Amati was the greatest name in Italian violin making. Amati was the shop at which Strat Antonio Stradivari apprenticed. And at the time, the Amati was considered the best violin in the world. Now, Niccolo Paganini, because of his weakness for gambling, lost his Amati violin and had to give a concert. And so, a friend lent him a violin that was made by Giuseppe Guarneri. Now, who is Giuseppe Guarneri? He was a contemporary of Stradivarius, but unlike Stradivarius, who was like the Microsoft of his day, pumping out violin after violin, making huge prices, dominating the marketplace, Giuseppe Guarneri was kind of more like Linux, <laughs> just trying to do the best he could, but just not succeeding monetarily quite so much. Now this Guarneri that Paganini played at the spur of the moment was so wonderful that that became his favorite instrument and he played it until the end of his career. So Giuseppe Guarneri, in fact, is the violin maker that I am describing to you. Now he's also known as Joseph, Joseph Guarnerius, and you notice that it says IHS, the, he is known as uh, <clears throat> Guarneri del Gezu, and that is because this is one of his labels from a 1735 violin. You will notice that on the right hand side it says IHS, the H is actually an eta, so that stands for iota, uh, iota, eta, sigma, which are the first three letters of the Latinization of Jesus' name. Hence, Guarneri del Gezu. Now, Stradivari was very prolific. He, was, he worked many, many years, and he turned out many, many violins. In fact, there are 1,400 violins of Stradivari currently in existence. There are only 200 Guarneri's currently in existence. Here are some of the better one-on ones. This one is known as the Lord Wilton. This was made in 1742, and among others was played by Yehudi Menuhin, and in a letter in 1974, Menuhin said that this was his favorite violin, even though he also owned several Stradivariuses. This is the violin that was played by Paganini, that mentioned. He bequeathed it to his hometown of Genoa, where it is on display, and is periodically played by the curator for that. Every year they have a contest, and the winner of the contest gets to play this violin in a concert. It has only left Genoa a handful of times. I suspect that if this violin were ever put on sale, that it would be by far the most expensive violin in the world, but it never will be. It will eternally be housed in its town of Genoa. This is known as the <clears throat> Vuitton Guarneri because it was played by Henri Vuitton, who was one of the most important violinists in the 1800s. 
very influential in developing current violin techniques. And it so happens that I happen to have a Guarneri violin in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> this, in fact, is a copy of a Guarneri violin. This was made in 1905 in Czechoslovakia. And I bought this in 1978 in Tucson, Arizona. It had been kept in somebody's attic. Unfortunately, it does not have the most wonderful sound of a Guarneri. It is not bad, but ever since I was a small boy, I have loved the violin. Everything about the violin. I love the sound. I love the way it looks. I love the shape of the wood. I love the color of the wood. I love the overall texture of just holding it, the smoothness of the neck, the feel of the strings on the fingers. And I'll let you all take a look at this. Be careful, please. And while you're doing that, let's see if I can get this to work. <laughs> this is Joshua Bell playing the Vuitton. Can you hear that? Oh, that's the darn thing. Can you hear that? So this, the Henri Vuitton violin was put is was offered for sale for eighteen million dollars. <laughs> I'm saving up my pennies. <laughs> 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 